Hey guys. Hey, this is Jason Morris with Real Estate Agents That Really Work. And I want to show you guys just something that um, that uh, I showed the um, my um, group coaching people uh, yesterday. Hang on just a second. I was looking there and I was um, making sure I had myself set up so I could actually wouldn't hear myself. So I want to show you guys something that I showed my group coaching people yesterday. So one of the things I keep talking about is I keep talking about tracking your numbers with them and how important it is to track your numbers and track just your, you know, your daily activities and all that stuff. Because, because when you, when you've got a goal and you're tracking, you can actually see, you know, what direction you're going in. Right. And then you can actually take those numbers from the past and you can actually take and start planning your future and planning your future. Um, basically, you can plan what you, your future is and you can show how many times you want to, um, you know, how many calls you need to make. And you can really you can just plan for what's coming up. So I want to show you guys what I did with them. Hang on just a second. I'm looking for the. Uh, looking for the. Um, hmm. I can't seem to locate it all. Of, oh, there it goes. I couldn't find the I couldn't find the screen share button. So, guys, okay. One of the things that I tell I keep telling agents, and I'll work through. I'm going to work through this here with you guys real quick. Just kind of show you what I'm doing with them and stuff because I got a lot of really cool stuff coming up with my group coaching program. And right now enrollment's closed, but you can sign up on the waiting list. that's right right above in this post, and you can um you can uh, get on the waiting list because I'm going to reopen it, but it's only going to be reopened for like a couple of days. Then we're going to close it again because I want to do a lot of cool stuff that I can't really do with people like steady joining, like on a daily basis. And um, I got a lot of stuff coming up for November is when all that starts. It's basically like a get started program that get, get your business off the ground and get it ramped up really fast. So one of the things that I like to, to, um, tell everybody to track is you need to track your number of calls you're making per day. Okay. You need to schedule your time. You need to track your number of calls you're making per day. Well, basically your hours, your hours, you prospect per day. You need to track the number of uh, seller answers and conversations you're having a day, right? Then you can easily see, you need to track your number of appointments and the number of appointments it takes to get a listing. Okay. So we're going to start like small here. Okay, and we're going to plan for, you know, just the month of November, for example. Let's say that month of November you want to get, get um, you want to get five listings. Okay, the number of one out of ten numbers you dial or sellers you dial. Now we're talking about calling expires and poor sell orders. One out of ten answers the phone. Okay, you got to talk to twenty people. If you see this next block, you got to talk to twenty people to get one appointment. And you need two appointments to take one listing, right? You're scheduling two hours a day to prospect, and you're just you're just finger dialing. You're not using a dial or anything, and you're getting forty five um forty five dials per hour. Okay, what this ends up ends up being is you end up with a uh, total number of calls you need to make in the month of November will be two thousand calls, right? And at forty five calls per hour, you need to call for forty four hours. And if you're only calling, um, two hours a day, this is going to put you at 22 total work days. Now, for the month of November, I'm going to tell you, I, I think that's going to be tough to do work, work and prospect 22 days because we have we have Thanksgiving holidays coming up and we got stuff like that. We got a lot of family time in November, um, seems like. So, you know, eight days is just the weekend, just Saturday. If you take off Saturday and Sunday, this means you have to work Monday through Friday every week with this formula to get that five listings. Okay. Now, now we're talking a lot about my group coaching planning for 2018. So if you want to plan for 2018, right? And this is your ratios, you know, you're getting 50% of the appointments you're going on. You're needing, um, you're calling two hours a day, things like that. And you want to get, let's say, you know, some, some people have different goals. You know, that's something I've learned to doing group coaching about 5% want to set the world on fire. 15% want to make a good living. 
Um, the other 80% want to do an occasional deal or occasional listing, which there's nothing at all wrong with that. You know, your level of desire, I can't instill desire in you. Your level of desire is just your level of desire. You know, how hard you want to work is your, how hard you work. Let's say so, but let's say in 2018, you want to get three listings a month. So we got 36 listings a month, right? This is going to put you prospecting. Uh, one out of 10 dials you make answers the phone. You need 20 conversations to get one appointment, which I think that's pretty reasonable. You need two appointments to take one listing, and then you need um, to prospect two hours a day, and you're only making 45 calls an hour. You're just dialing on your cell phone, right? Okay, so in the, in the year 2018, we need to make 14,400 calls, and you need to roughly plan to be on the phone 320 hours. Now, what this also means, though, what this also means is you need to work 160 days. You need to plan to prospect 160 days, which that's not bad. That's like actually like a really manageable schedule when you break it down. I mean, you're only working like half of 2018. You know, you're working, you're, you're actually taking off like half the every other day, basically you're taking off. Now, one of the things I want to show you though, and one of the things that I'm teaching agents in my group coaching is to build a listing heavy business because I believe that's what we need to have. In my experience in the business and talking to other coaches and clients and stuff that talk about building a listing heavy business, you're going to probably sell about 0.9 to 1.1 listings or homes per listing that you take, right? So if you take 10 listings, you're probably going to sell somewhere between nine and 11 houses, right? And that's you getting buyer calls and working with some buyers too. So, so if we work with listings and guys, this is how you, this is how you get rid of that big Zillow bill, that big realtor.com bill, those big bills you're, you're paying for uh, buyer leads and stuff is you just go out and take more listings. When you take more listings, you're just going to get more, more uh, buyer leads just naturally from natural syndication, signed calls and things like that. Right? So let's say that you want to have a superstar superstar year. And one of the things that I talk about is smart goal setting, S-M-A-R-T, goal setting, where you got to have, um, you got to have obtainable goal, but you also have to have a realistic goal. And sometimes to make an attainable goal realistic, we just need the resources. So I'm going to show you some like crazy math here just in a second. Let's say in 2019, you want to take 200 listings, right? I mean, 200 listings, I ain't gonna lie to you, that's a lot of listings, right? So if you're at, if you're having those same ratios, right, that you had when we first started talking here, one out of 10 sellers answers the phone, 20 conversations gets you one appointment, two listing appointments gets you one listing, right? You're only prospecting two hours a day and only making 45 calls an hour. Um, it's really not a realistic goal with those sort of numbers, right? That's going to put you working 889 days in 2000, 2000, 2018, which um, guys, unless you, if you, I mean, maybe you have a different calendar than I do, but 889 days is not going to fit into 2000 and 2018. But, but look at, let's look at this. Let's say instead of one out of one out of 10 sellers, you get on the phone, you get on the phone, you get your scripts, you stick to your scripts, you get your role play partner, you start practicing all of your stuff and you really, really get good on the phone, like get really exceptional on the phone. Well, then, you know, maybe you take one out of blank sellers, maybe get a little better lead source. Like I recommend Red X and you switch over to Red X Onyx so you got a little bit better leads and data source. So you get one out of eight. And that's really what I'm averaging right now. It's about one out of eight people I actually get on the phone with expired and stuff across the board. Just that brings you down to 711 working days. Okay, now two hours a day prospecting is, is probably not going to get it for us, right? Okay, let's just go to three hours a day. Well, look at this. Okay, let's say you guys want to be like insane prospectors and you're going to prospect, you know, Let's see, six six hours a day gets you down to 237 work days. That's about right once you take out weekends and stuff. However, the problem with this is 
that prospecting six hours a day, literally every working day of 2018 is going to be impossible. You're going to burn out. You're going to hate the real estate business. You're going to hate your life every day because prospecting six hours a day is absolutely grueling, right? So I feel like three hours a day is a pretty reasonable amount of time if you want to be like a top producer in a top market. Now, you're going to need some other resources in this, and we'll talk about those in a second to get that 200 listing goal in 2018. And most of that, most of that is going to be your systems with handling your paperwork and things like that. It's going to basically be what happens after you get the paperwork signed, which you're going to need an assistant and you're going to need some really solid people there behind you. And you're probably not going to be able to handle any buyer calls. You're probably going to need to quit working with buyers completely if you want to list 200 properties and just refer them all to your buyer's agent. So one out of eight people are going to answer the phone. Let's say you get really good on your scripts, really good on your scripts, and you just improve 10%, right? And I think 10% is reasonable to think we can all improve 10% on everything we do. So instead of one out of one out of 20 conversations, we get appointment, we're going to go down to one out of 18. Okay. Instead of one out of two, 50% of the listings we go on, let's say you guys start using, you start using my listing presentation. This is my book, how to be a FISMO master. And you get really good at Sinatra pre-listing package. You get really good at follow up. You get really good at just, the whole process, get really good at your active listing, your pricing strategy, you get just better at the whole thing. And you start getting appointments to one, one listing. You get 25% better, right? So you're going to get 75% of the listing appointments you go on, right? Look at this, guys. This is bringing us down. We're only at 320 work days. So you're going to have to work a lot of weekends with this schedule, right? But, but, you're going to list 200 properties. That's a massive goal. That's a massive goal for 2018. Okay, now there's only one other variable we can change. You know, you've already got a little bit better on your on your listing, uh, on the phone with people. You're using your scripts and you're really sticking to it. You're getting really good at overcoming objections, right? You brought down the number of appointments. Instead of one out of two listings you're getting, you're getting about 75% of the listing appointments you're going on. You're getting... um. You get one listing per, or you're getting two listings out of three appointments, basically, is what this means. Okay, the only other variable that you can really change and stick to your plan is calls you make an hour. Now, the only way you can do that is if you get really, really quick at typing on your cell phone, you get really, really focused, and you're not, nothing, nothing's distracting you. I mean, 45 calls an hour, dialing with your fingers, it, I mean, that's a lot of calls. I mean, you got to be really, really focused. Okay, so let's say that you started using a dialer right? Just a single line dialer and you got up to 70 calls per hour. Guys, look at this. Well, let's not even do 70. Let's do 65, right? So you're getting a little bit more calls. You're only working 22 days out of the year. Now, this is actually like a pretty normal work schedule. You don't have a week off of vacation, but you do have a pretty, I mean, it's going to be, you're going to have to work. There's not a lot of room for six days in there, but you're making 65 calls an hour. Let's bump that up just a little bit to 70. Maybe you're using a three-line dialer, getting getting a little, few more people on the phone. We'll do 75 calls an hour, right? Now, now we're talking about a realistic plan and a realistic schedule. And you have the resources to get there. So 200 listings, the difference between getting 20 or 30 listings a year and 200 listings a year is really just getting a little better on the phone, 10% better on the phone, 25% better at qualifying and going on appointments, right? Getting, getting a little bit better at qualifying and going on appointments so that you're getting two out of three instead of one out of two. Up in your prospecting schedule from going to two hours to three hours and getting a little help on the phone with a dialer and doing 75 dials. Now, this plan, now, here's the thing. The calls you got to make, the 43,200 calls that you have to make. Okay, now a lot of that's going to be follow-up calls. A lot of that's going to be calls that, hey, they didn't answer when you called. Now you got to figure out where you're going to get that data from. So remember when I said attainable? Now all of a sudden, that goal that seemed insane, like when I first started telling you 200 listing, 200 listings in 2018, that goal sounded absolutely insane. Um, now that goal is pretty attainable, right? And the thing that's going to make it realistic is having the resources. Right. So you need you need a leads, you need lead sources. 
you need to schedule three hours a day. You probably need an assistant, you know, just to keep up with paperwork and everything. Okay, getting a little bit better on the phone, following your scripts, following your dialogues on the phone, and getting a little better at your listing presentation, making sure you send out that pre-listing package, making sure that you know you follow, um, you know, follow a pricing strategy, use your net sheet, um, practice going over your uh, your paperwork and all that stuff. So this is going to put you in the range of getting working 192 days, you know, which is reasonable. I mean, you're not working weekends and you're taking a few weeks off. I mean, you know, Christmas, holidays, things like that. And then um, the only thing you got to worry about is the number of calls you got to make. So you got to have lead sources. So, you know, with Red X, I mean, you got a lot of options. You know, you get for sell by owners, you get expired, pre foreclosures, for rent by owners. You know, now you just need to figure out where to get all the numbers you're going to call at, call from. So, um, so guys, I, I, tracking your numbers, this is why tracking your numbers is important. And this is why you need systems, why you need things. So, guys, if you're interested in my group coaching, I'm going to reopen it here. It's probably going to be about two weeks, 10, 14 days. I'm not 100% sure. I got a lot going on um, here the next couple of weeks. Um, my day planners are getting mailed out. Hopefully, you know, they're going to printing, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, and then hopefully they'll be sent out by the end of the week. Um, so if you want my day planners, go to followupmasterdayplanner.com and you can get one. But um, my group coaching, if you're interested in my group coaching and you're interested in how you can build a plan, set up a predictable schedule, you know, I know that not everybody's goal is 200 listings. I know that's that's a big, big goal. But um, if you're interested, you can get on the waiting list for when I open it back up. Just go to jasonmorrisgroupcoaching.com and get on the waiting list. Um, when I open it back up, you'll get priority um, I'm only going to accept like a certain number of people just because um, when I open it back up, I've got a lot of new things that I want to do in November when I open it back up. And I can't do it if I have like too many people to join. It's going to just take up a lot more of my time than what I've planned and budgeted for. So anyway, guys, jasonmorrisgroupcoaching.com is the website to sign up on the waiting list. If I can help you with your business, just, um, just let me know. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day.